Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We just finished reading Genesis chapter 19. We started at verse 11. And uh, I will pick up at verse 31. And I will finish it off at verse uh, 38. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he preserved not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Let us make him drunk, drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine at that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she lay down nor when she arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. And the firstborn bare a son, and called his name Moab. And the same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger, she also bare a son, and called his name Benami. Benami. And Benami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon until this day. Have mercy. Um, whoo! Wow. This is some stuff. And, uh, I, I still try to figure out this little section here because, you know, I used to drink. I used to drink. Yeah, when I drink, I still have some kind of consciousness. Because I have drank and drove before. And I know when I got home, I just fell out. But I'm trying to figure out how. How Lot did not know when he go down, when they, they lie with him, the daughters lie with him, and how he did not know when they got up. I'm, I, I'm just trying to figure out how he even got them pregnant. Pregnant. He was in a drunken stupor. <laughs> so, is anyone to be blamed here? And if anyone is to be blamed, that's God. That's what. That's, that's one of the things that I need to. That's one of the things that I need to write down in my book and ask him when I get there. If I. Wow. Wow. But we heard we heard about the Moabites. We heard about the Am Ammonites. And uh, you know, 
things happen. But they claimed they wanted to preserve their father's seed. So what happened to Lot's wife? Why she wasn't there to preserve the seed? What happened to her? Anybody knows? What happened to who? To Lot's wife. She became a pillar of salt. And I, I've never been over that region. But if you go there today, would the statue be standing there? Did they try to preserve it? That's what they said. I think that when I went there, they showed me the area that it was somewhere. Okay. Because, you know, salt, unless it get beat, get beat up by water and rain and all that, it will stay, especially if they cover it up. And uh, and uh, what did the two men do to get Lot and the two daughters who were willing to come out? First, they grabbed the wife and the two daughters and Lot. Then they said the, the wife became a pillar of salt. But how did they... Did they wait for them to walk out by themselves? No, they dragged them out. <laughs> they dragged them by, they pulled them out. Because it was time to do what? They were hesitating a little bit. Yeah, it was time to destroy the twin city, Sodom and Gomorrah. What did the angels do to the men? To prevent them from breaking down Lot's door. They struck, them with they, st they struck them with blindness. And they wore themselves out. Did Lot try to get his son-in-laws to come with to come with them? The angels told Lot to go and get everyone so that they can leave because they were getting ready to do what? They were getting ready to destroy the city. It says the sin of the city came up to God. And I'm looking at this world today and how sinful it is. We are to make sure that we hold on to Christ because one day, one day, one day, one day, this world will be destroyed by fire, just like how Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire, this world will be destroyed by fire. So let... Huh? Fire and brimstone. Thank you. All right? So we ought to hold on to Christ with our dear life because salvation depends upon it. We are going to be tempted to do the wrong thing. We are going to be tempted to disobey God's commandments. But if I could advise us, let us obey Christ so that when he returns, we will go home with him. We serve a risen Savior. We serve a, a Christ who was baptized by God, by, by John the Baptist, sorry. You know, let us give God the praise. Let us continue to lift him up. He has done great things for us. Let us continue to do what he asks us to do. Let us not be disobedient like Lot's son-in-laws, let us not be disobedient and do the wrong things like the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, but let us do the right things so that when Christ comes, 
we can go home with him. Let us not be a lifestyle sinner like the men of Sodom. If we were to sin, let us be a mistake sinner. Don't stay in our sins, but ask God for forgiveness and move on. Praise ye the Lord, like David, like Moses. Praise ye the Lord.